it's Eddie from PKR Physical Therapy. Today we're going to talk about labral tears in the hip. Some common questions such as what is a labrum, what does it do, how does it tear, and will it heal on its own? So first let's talk about the hip joint itself. So the hip joint, also known as the femoral acetabular joint, is comprised of two bones. You have the femur, the long bone in the upper portion of your leg, and half of your pelvis. So on the pelvis there is a cup-like structure called the acetabulum, and that's what, causes, that's what creates the ball and socket joint that is your femoral acetabular joint. Around your acetabulum, that cup-like structure that's on your pelvis, there is a ring of fibrocartilage that helps to deepen the socket and keep the femoral head in place so that when you're moving, the femoral head doesn't sublux or dislocate. That ring of fibrocartilage is your acetabular labrum. So how do you tear your labrum? This can happen a number of different ways. You can either tear it doing something uh, traumatic like a, a car accident or a fall, or it could be something degenerative that happens over time from arthritis, bone spurring, or if you have a deformity in the shape of the femoral head that can cause pinching and things like that, which can lead to uh, tearing over time. So once you have a tear, will it heal on its own? This is the question to get as soon as people come in with a, a, a labral tear, they wanna know, will this heal on its own? Unfortunately, labral tears will not heal on their own, um, mainly because there's very minimal blood supply to the labrum, and that doesn't allow for a conducive environment for, for healing of tissue. Um, so once you have a labral tear and you come in for physical therapy, you know, what is our goal? What are we looking to do? So since we know that the structural stability of your, your hip, the, the labrum is torn, and you might have a little more motion of that femoral head in the acetabulum, we wanna to try to improve stability of the joint through some of the outside structures like your muscles. So we wanna make sure that all the muscles surrounding your hip are nice and strong, as well as flexible, to allow you to get through your day and do everything you need to do without any limitations.